I'd like to share my blood pressure nightmare with you and how I solved it, just in case this helps anybody somewhere, someday. Hopefully it will. So, I had 120 over 80, pretty standard blood pressure, right? And suddenly I'd have attacks with 200 over 100 blood pressure. So I had to call the 911 and to get taken to the hospital. And they said, there's nothing wrong with you. I'm like, of course there's something wrong with me. I just had 200 over 100 blood pressure. So over the next day or two, it would slowly come down. And then I had to uh, try to figure out what was wrong. So I changed my diet. So I was eating fruits and vegetables, right? But I'd have the occasional cheat. I'd go to Sonic and have an ice cream. I'd have a slice of pizza on a weekend or something like that. So I said, all right, I have no idea what this is. Screw this. Doctor didn't know what it was. So I said, no more cheats. Fruits and veggies only. So I would have meals of fruit, fruit smoothies and all of that good stuff. So um, breakfast would be like a high carb oatmeal with a lot of fruit in it. Lunch would be a salad with some fruit, you know, tomatoes, stuff like that. Um, then for a snack, I'd have a couple of bananas. And then for dinner, I would have a bowl of grapes. Uh, well, I'd have a vegan chili. So a vegan chili is like a lot of beans and veggies and stuff like that. So, and I still had the attacks. Uh, I had the attack in October. Then I had a, an attack in March and then May and then June. I mean, it was like more and more and more. So I'm going to the doctor. I'm going to specialists and all the specialists say I'm okay. And uh, I'm put on blood pressure medication, which I don't really need because... Obviously, I'm, I'm 120, you know, 120 over 80 for the most part. But over time, I was getting more and more worse uh, as far as blood pressure was concerned. So they put me on medications. By the way, those medications are terrible. Like one of them caused me to have this massive dry eye problem to where my eye just hurts all the time. So thumbs up. Blood pressure medication is great. Anyway, so... 10k emergency bill with my insurance. I think I paid one and a half k. And so it's continually, you can't not go to the emergency room when your heart seizes up, right? Or your blood pressure. So it was a hypertensive episode. So they told me I was fine. Get out of here. So off to the specialist I went. So cardiologist said you're fine. He actually said my heart was amazing is what he said. So I went on his, I did the most comprehensive cardiology exam you can get, which is like an echocardiogram while you're on this exercise machine. And I'm on the exercise machine, I, I like I work out all the time. So I'm on this exercise machine, I'm just, you know, surpassing everybody's that's ever done the exercise machine apparently. So um, it, 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 was a, it was a situation where the cardiologist said I was A-OK -okay and my heart was great. Neurologist said you're OK. So nobody had a clue. Nobody had a clue. I went to three different doctors. Not a single one had a clue. And I gave them my diet. None of them had any idea at all. And they put me on these hardcore medications. And the medications caused me to have all sorts of issues. If you haven't seen the side effects of blood pressure medications, by the way, interesting read. Because some of the side effects cause you to bloat up. Some of the side effects say heart attack. I mean, it's good stuff. Great stuff. And I'm on like two different ones. Anyway, not anymore. Um, so we're phasing off of it because I figured out the, the solution. The solution will be quite unusual, but it worked. So nobody had a clue, which they should have a clue because they're physicians and I had three different ones. All right. So my meals are really high carb meals. You see where I'm going with this? Um, I eliminated the vegan chili in desperation. I changed all my food, and but I stayed fruits and vegetables. You can't go wrong with fruits and vegetables. Mom said to eat your fruits and vegetables. Well, not in my case. So I, I reduced the vegan chili to a bowl of grapes, which is kind of sad to have for dinner, but um, better than calling 911. I had a fruit smoothie occasionally. Anyway, the attacks are getting more and more frequent. Uh, the vegan chili was out, etc., etc. So, here's the problem. In case anybody else has this and you can't figure it out, my problem, exclusive to me, was that carbs, one and a half hours after you eat carbs, it turns into insulin. You get an insulin release in your system, basically. Even if you have low glycemic 
some low glycemic food. I was eating beans, which is low glycemic, but for some reason, um, eating a lot of beans shoved it into high glycemic and would cause inflammation. And about two hours after I ate, sure enough, I had inflammation and the inflammation would go up and it would be high and my blood pressure would be high, it'd be high and have an attack and come back down slowly, slowly, slowly. Inflammation comes back down, blood pressure comes back down. Uh, so the inflammation hung out for a while. And sure enough, I was eating uh, my vegan chili at about four, 334, and about six, I would have this attack. So it was right on schedule with, according to all the videos I've been watching, uh, this how this happened. So anyway, how did I figure this out? I went, basically I starved myself. I did not eat hardly anything. I would eat like, I um, think I ate a piece of broccoli, a piece of broccoli and, a, and, a, and an egg or something. And that was my lunch, that was my dinner. I did this for four or five days and the problem vanished, vanished. My blood pressure medication caused me to go way low. Like my blood pressure was like, 89 over 59 or something stupid so and it stayed that way so then I went to the doctor I'm like I think I figured this out let's lower it. let's get off the blood pressure meds and they were like yay I'm like why didn't you tell me this anyway I had to starve myself eating a piece of broccoli for dinner great stuff okay so what was the fix not only low glycemic but low carb was it keto did I do the formal keto no 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 I eat one banana uh, in the morning and I eat one apple in the afternoon just to jack myself over 20 carbs so I don't go into ketosis. I don't really think ketosis is beneficial to me um, right now since I've solved the problem with non-ketosis. I don't want the keto flu. I don't really want to maintain 20 carbs. I don't want to eat a lot of meat. So I'm doing sort of a vegan keto, which is... Um, you know, heavy salad with broccoli, cauliflower, a lot of cucumber, some low um, low sugar dressings. And then for uh, breakfast, I'll have some eggs and bacon with no extra salt. And then for dinner, I'll have another salad. So it's eggs with no salt and some berries and maybe some bacon. So berries are low glycemic. For lunch, I'm having a salad with a lot of, you know, heavy salad stuff like cucumbers and bell peppers, anything that's very fibrous that'll keep me full. And for dinner, I have a salad with some tomatoes. And again, I have that banana, one banana, and one apple separated out to, to keep myself above ketosis. Anyway, that's my, that's my story. And that's how I came off two blood pressure meds. And that's how I fixed this absolutely horrific situation of going to the hospital for this because that's not healthy and probably is not good for me. It probably did some permanent damage. Maybe I'm stupid now, who knows, but I've uh, been battling this the past year and that was the solution was to low glycemic, low carb food, low carb food separated out and then intermittent fasting. I'll, I'll spend 13 hours without eating. Basically, I'll, I'll have eight hours sleep and then I'll have five hours in the morning, I just don't eat anything. I'm not recommending any of this diet for anyone. I'm just saying, if you know someone that has this and nobody can figure it out, have them talk to their doctor about maybe trying a lower carb separated out meals. Anyway, that's my story of how I went from uh, attacks and horrific life for the past year, and now I am uh, phasing off of my blood pressure medication because my blood pressure is actually too low and my doctors, you know, couldn't care less. I, I showed this to them. I'm all excited. I'm like, look, I found it. I found the solution. I'm like, whatever. Okay. So you want to get off the meds now? That's doctors. I need better doctors. I went through three. I went through three. I did try. I did try to get that second and third opinion, and all of them pretty much find this a big snoozer. Um, but for me, yeah, I've wasted quite a lot of cash uh, trying to find this, and my health has been affected quite badly. So hopefully this helps someone um, stay healthy out there and 
and uh, stay healthy and enjoy what you have because you never know what you're going to have tomorrow. So uh, that's my story. Again, hopefully it helps someone. Uh, like and subscribe uh, or yawn like the doctors. I don't care. <laughs> Either way, thanks for listening.